guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would film a little extra video because we're currently away at Centre Parks and I wanted to do this for my own benefit in the future. We come here every year as a family. We love coming here, um, but I always forget what I need to pack and what I don't. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips on what to pack, what you actually need, and then I'm also gonna give you some general tips about Sense Parks as well. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around for more videos like this. We are a family Hello. of five, and I post three videos a week. I have two little ones in the background here watching Peppa Pig, but I just thought I would quickly run you through a list of what to pack. So the first thing that you should definitely bring is toilet roll. They do actually give you two toilet rolls in your lodge when you arrive, but as a family of five, we go through a lot, so definitely pack toilet roll. The second thing that's worth bringing is dishwasher tablets. They do leave you three when you arrive, so depending on how long you're staying and how much you're gonna use the dishwasher, you might wanna bring some of your own from home as well. We also so bring fairy liquid to wash up dishes by hand and we also love this thing this is the dishmatic I think you can get them in Poundland I bought mine in Sainsbury's but you basically fill up the handle with fairy liquid and you can do your dishes really easily so this was really handy to bring you may also want to bring hand soap they do actually leave you a bar of soap in your lodge to wash your hands with but for our kids, they find it easier to use liquid soap, so if yours are the same, definitely bring a hand wash. The lodges have fireplaces as well, so it is definitely worth booking the instant fire sticks before you get here. You can add it onto your booking and they will leave it in your room for when you arrive. You get three for 10 pounds, I think, but if you're going to use the fireplace, we actually haven't because we have a toddler, um, but if you're going to use the fireplace, it's definitely worth ordering them. You can buy them in the supermarket here when you arrive but they're really heavy so if you can remember to pre-book them it's definitely worth doing the next thing that we like to bring is posh ready meals we particularly like cook meals because they're really nice and it saves us cooking every night we like to relax while we're here and it's also worth noting that the fridge is only a half fridge it is quite small and the freezer as well so we like to bring those and you can actually buy them here in the supermarket so we brought two with us and then we ended up buying one as well or you could cook a lasagna or a fish pie or something before you come here have it ready so you don't have to worry about it while you're here the days are quite exhausting especially with young children we're going swimming we go rock climbing so much biking and stuff so it's nice to just in the evening have a meal ready if you do like to cook and you don't have young children to worry about, one thing that is a really good idea is you can get something like a HelloFresh box. So everything is pre-proportioned out and they're really yummy recipes, so that might be a good idea. There are also barbecues in most of the lodges, um, but some of the lower lodges, the barbecues aren't great, I would say. Um, so some people I know have bought like disposable barbecues to put onto the barbecue, so that might be something worth doing. If you get the better once you get like a proper gas barbecue. Another foodie hack is to order your grocery shop to arrive the day that you're going to Centre Parks. So as it arrives, you just stick it in the car and then you drive off to Centre Parks. Or you can also get like a starter grocery pack to be here in your lodge when you arrive. We've done that a couple of times and it's quite good, but sometimes we end up with things we don't really need, like different types of jams that we would never really eat. Um, so yes, yeah, something to consider. The next one, I can't believe I didn't make it first because it is so important. You need to bring swimwear. The swimming here is amazing and the spa is incredible as well. So whoever you are, a couple or a family, you're going to want your swimwear and definitely bring um, towels for the pool. You can hire them here, but I think they're like two pound a go, so it's definitely worth bringing your own. It's also worth bringing bin bags and recycling bags as well, and then also DVDs. I know this seems really old school now that everyone can just download films, but if you have any DVDs, there are DVD players in the lodge, and it's been great for our kids because we've brought DVDs like Peppa Pig, um, Coco, Captain Underpants, things that they can just watch and chill out in the evening too, 
and even if you're a couple it might be worth watching a film that you like watching obviously there's normal TV as well there is actually HDMI connection in the DVD player as well so you can maybe bring your Amazon TV we didn't um, or you could also bring games consoles as well some lodges come with them but if you wanted to bring your own you can we actually don't because it's quite nice to have a break from that kind of technology for us and the kids um, but if you want to you can another thing that we like to bring is board games it's really nice in the evening to play a game as a family you bond together so we brought Fortnite Monopoly which the boys have loved but I haven't got a clue what I'm doing um, and things like guess who and stuff like that but yeah cards or board games is a good one we also brought tin foil and Tupperware as well so that we can use tin foil for cooking or wrapping things up and Tupperware as well because sometimes we'll make sandwiches and take them out with us or if you have leftovers it's quite nice to have a place to put them and now for a few general center parks tips when it comes to activities don't feel like you have to book loads when we first came I think we booked one to two activities a day and our kids were very young and didn't really appreciate them they just love the swimming so the swimming is probably enough if your children are very young um, now that they're a bit older our eldest two are eight and five they have really loved rock climbing tree trekking they like bowling and things like that we've done a few other things like an owl encounter which they just really didn't enjoy um, and I have seen loads of little girls doing like pottery painting and seeming to love it um, so you know think about what your kids would really like and also it's worth noting that they do get really tired when they're here there's so much going on that they may not want to have an action full like packed day um, so like one activity a day on top of swimming is probably enough and if you do want to do that like our kids love rock climbing so that kind of thing is worth pre-booking before you arrive because the activities do get really busy especially in the school holidays I mentioned it earlier but the spa here is really amazing it's called the Aquasana spa and I would say I'm not a spa person like I don't love going to spas and relaxing um, but this one is really really good there are loads of different rooms they all have different smells and themes to them and yeah we really really love it around the pool you can book cabanas and it's basically a space that has a TV and you can order drinks and food I think and just have a space to chill out by the pool we booked this once I think it was 50 pounds and we did it because it was someone's birthday um, but because we have very young children it was a total waste of money like it wasn't worth having because your kids just want to be on the water slides and rapids and in the pool itself so you don't really use the cabana that much maybe if you had teenage children or you were just a couple or you had a special occasion it might be worth doing but we thought it was a bit of a waste of money for us our routine when we're at center parks tends to be to wake up quite early and get straight to swimming it opens at 10 a.m. and it's probably its quietest from 10 to 11 a.m. from 11 onwards it does get very busy so we like to swim from like 10 to 11 11 30 and then go for lunch quite early because lunch can also get busy in the restaurants the restaurants are really good here the pancake house is amazing our kids love it there's also like Bella Italia Hux diner there's loads of good restaurants so we tend to eat lunch out at a restaurant and then have dinner in at the lodge because our kids are younger um, but yeah it's definitely worth you know bringing some money to have some meals out and there is a really good night that our kids have loved it is the magic show at the pancake house you definitely have to pre-book this because I think it gets quite busy but they basically get like a carvery buffet a pudding and a magician walks around and does tricks and then at the end he does a really big show and our children really like it. so if you have a child that's like four or five and over they might like it as well um, but yeah I think that's all the tips I wanted to share with you I hope you found this useful thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon bye